Welcome to this important Luminar tutorial of Rosa Photo. My name is Mark de Roy, a Dutch based photographer, and I want to give you two warnings if you want to apply the AI sky replacement filter in Luminar 4. Uh, the first one is when you apply a new sky, and that's what I already did in this photo, sometimes it looks nice from this view, but please zoom in to all the borders and check it because. What happens quite often is that you get uh, a very bad border. So if I zoom into the tree, you can already see it. So if that happens, try to use the sliders here to adjust it and to, uh, to make it right. And sometimes it works, sometimes not, because also this filter has uh, the limitations. But another thing I want to show you, and that's even more important, and I, I've heard nobody talking about it yet, but maybe it's more important than this problem because it's not very visible. Um, the problem that's not very visible I want to talk about is the, the next thing. This photo was taken with a Sony A7R 3 So that's a 42 megapixel uh, photo. If I go to info, I can see that on the hor uh, horizontally I have almost 8000 pixels. And I was kind of curious about the resolution uh, of the skies because if the resolution of the sky is not so large, not 8, no, not 7968, uh, but less, and I'm going to make a big print of it, of course that will be visible. The, the dots will be much bigger. So if you zoom in, and let's go to 300%, and I go to, well, I don't solve this issue now because that's not the purpose of this video. I made another video about the AI sky replacement about how to solve this issue. But what you can see is, well, it doesn't look super sharp here because I'm in 300%, but at least the dots, they look kind of small. But if I move to the sky, you can see very clearly that the dots are much bigger. So that kind of indicates that the resolution of the sky is less. So what I did is I went to my um, to the folder of Lumina 4 in the hard disk. If you go to uh, program file, Skylum, Lumina 4, you can find the folder profiles and there you can find the sky textures and you can change here uh, if you press the right button the data visible and what you can see right away is that the dimensions of the skies there's a lo lot of variety but for example the sky I have applied this one it's only 2000 pixels and that's well four times less than the original photo so it basically means that yeah I can use it for maybe online use and it doesn't look so bad if you see it from uh, a uh, small image, but it's impossible to make a good high quality print of it. So that basically makes uh, a lot of the um, skies available in Lumina 4 uh, yeah, not good enough to, to, to use. So for example, the dramatic sunsets, they're better, they're over 6000 pixels, but yeah, there are also some one with small, smaller dimensions. So that's something to take into account. Also good to see from this view is um, like the first three or first five photos of the blue skies. Um, those photos have quite a lot of vertical pixels, but one like this or this is uh, very small. So it also means if you have a photo with your horizon very low, you cannot use this sky and this sky because it doesn't fill the whole sky. So that's something very important to realize if you want to use the sky replacement uh, filter. So think about it, think about how you, if you want to use it, how you want to use it. And what I already told in a previous video, it is a good idea to make your own uh, sky photos because Otherwise, all your photo, all the photos online are going to look like the same. So hopefully you learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because soon we will publish more tutorials about Luminar 4. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.